Oh, hi. It's Rob. I'm back here behind the camera, you know, back on that side. Uh, as you can probably tell, this week's little adventure is uh, a toaster. got this toaster about a year ago from Amazon, and it's actually been really nice. I like it a lot. Um, it's electronic. It has a timer on here so that you can adjust the amount of time that it cooks. cooks the toast really evenly and comes out very nice. It's got these settings. Um, you can cook bagels. There's a defrost, a reheat settings. I'm not entirely sure what they do. I've just used it for making toast. Well, a few days ago, it stopped working. It would no longer stay down. And after having it plugged in for a bit and looking at it, it was getting no power. Uh, plug it into another outlet, and sure enough, the outlet was fine, but the toaster was not. So, I want to try and fix it. Because I spent, I mean, it wasn't horribly expensive, but I spent money on a toaster, and it should last longer than a year. So, gonna see what I can do. Okay, this is the bottom side of the toaster, and I can already see one problem. Okay, I think that's about as close as I'm going to be able to get. You can see these are sort of hex or torx flavored, but instead of being a straight in hole, it's more of a dent. I don't know that I have a driver that's going to be able to undo these. I don't think these are actually meant to be able to be undone. I think these are a one and done kind of thing. But I'm going to see what I can do. So I noticed something as I was starting to get this apart. Um, once I got it a little bit detached, I noticed a couple things. One is that there's this scrape on one of the insulated wires. And number two is that this little three pin uh, connector here seems to have been, uh, well, the wires are chewed through or cut or something. So um, one of a couple ideas, one is that some of the mechanism here when it actually goes all the way down was pinching these. Or two is that a mousey got in there and ate some of the wires. I don't know, but I think I'm going to try and fix this and see if it works again. Alright, I've managed to uh, patch this as best I can, at least I think so. Um, you know, it's got heat shrink on it, and I've had to uh, add a couple of sections of wire in there. I'm not sure where those wires went, unless uh, the mousies ate them. Because, uh, you know, mice eat wires. I guess. It's a fact! Um, so now, I'm gonna put it back together. I still have to try and do something with this. I'm not sure what yet because that is wire that's supposed to be heat insulated. So, all right, I'll come up with something. All right, indeed, I have put a layer of uh, hot glue on here. And I know, yes, it might seem stupid to be using hot glue in a toaster, but uh, the temperatures that it reaches on this side should be nowhere near enough to have anything flammable go on. Uh, it'll get a little melty, but all it's really going to do is it'll melt into the wire even more. So I'm not too worried about it. Alright, so time to put this baby back together.
things I like about this toaster is that it's got this little warming tray on the top. I thought that was kind of cute. Anyway, she's done. She works. Gonna put her back in the kitchen. So as nearly as I can tell, what happened is that the toaster, when it was first assembled in the factory, it had those wires pinched in between the bottom and the, the top part when they assembled it. And when they tightened it down, those wires got crushed and eventually broke. That would be my guess. Second guess would possibly be mice eating the insulation. You know, some crumbs get in the toaster, they decide to crawl around in there, but I didn't actually see a lot of evidence of mice. So, I don't know, but it's working. It seems to be fixed, at least for now. Uh, as to whether I could have bought another toaster, it probably would have been, I don't know, probably a wash, but this was kind of fun to see how the, the toaster worked, see how it was made. Uh, and heck, you know, I got it fixed, so. All right, see you guys later. Hopefully got some more cooked stuff coming up. Probably won't be toast. Although that might be fun. All right, see you guys next time.